That would be the best way to have passive income over the long term. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is Kevin Thompson. And if you want the truth about making money online, then you should probably subscribe below. All right, I'm gonna do a quick video about how to make $100 in passive income. This is a passive income strategy that I got from Jaspreet from Minority Mindset. So if you haven't checked out his channel, I'll leave the link below to that. I ended up hearing about him from a friend and I kinda haven't watched a lot of his videos just because they're so long and uh, it's kinda hard for me to do reviews about you know investing in real estate, stuff that I'm not really into right now. But um, if you guys are wanting to learn a little bit more about financial literacy, I'd recommend checking him out. Before I get into this, I just want to go over real quick what exactly is passive income. So if you guys don't know what passive income is, basically you are getting paid uh, for something that you've set up, something that you don't really have to spend a bunch of time doing. Maybe at first you spent a lot of time setting it up, but now the money just comes in with you having to do little to no work. So uh, for example, if you had a regular job like a lawyer or a doctor, uh, that is not passive income. You have to spend your time uh, to actually get money in return. So um, anything that that requires you to actually be there to earn is not considered passive income uh, something like this YouTube channel is kind of considered passive income even though I have to make the videos uh, some of the videos that are on my channel that you guys really like they will make me money no matter how many times they are uh, viewed so some videos on this channel will just make me money pretty much forever I only had to make them one time so it kind of is passive income if you think about it the best way to take advantage of passive income of course is to invest and to keep investing so uh, letting your investments just grow over time and also compound interest so a lot of this stuff I'm not really gonna get into because I'm not a financial advisor I'm still young and learning myself and I'd hate to give you guys some incorrect information so I'm really talking really surface right now so if you want to know more about this stuff I'd recommend checking out people like Graham Stephan and Minority Mindset the first way here is called dividend investing. Like you guys know, this is mostly a review channel and um, I'm just going based off the list here that he did, but I'm not really sure why he put this first. Let me just throw you guys some quick vocab out there because some of you may not know what a dividend is. So a dividend is something that you are paid out for investing in a particular company. So uh, let's just say, for example, he always brings up McDonald's. Let's say uh, McDonald's is paying out dividends for their company because not every company pays out dividends that you will invest in and I don't recommend just investing in companies that pay out dividends so uh, you know there's a lot to learn when it comes to investing depending on the company and depending on you know how they operate the terms and everything they will pay out uh, I'm pretty sure every quarter so uh, you know you probably won't be getting that much money it may only be a few dollars but over time if you do take that money that they did pay you out and just reinvest it to buy more or parts of the share or more actual shares depending on how much the share cost is then you'll be able to compound interest even faster because you will be investing your dividends so that is the first way to uh, make money a hundred dollars passively here is to reinvest the dividends that you get paid out from your initial investments if you guys aren't really understanding this you will need to invest in some sort of dividend paying stock at first to even go through this route number two here are REITs so uh, REITs are real estate investing companies. So for example, let's just say I had a company called Property Incorporated, okay? So uh, my company is worth millions of dollars. Let's just say we do business with, you know, million dollar homes, whatever, okay? So uh, someone like you that doesn't have millions of dollars to invest in properties like this can invest in Property Incorporated. So you can invest in my company, right? Okay, and there's two benefits here where it's a win-win situation where benefits benefiting on both sides. So you are benefiting because you are able to invest in properties without having to deal with the tenants, without having to deal with the fees and the paperwork, okay? So um, you're still being able to get paid out uh, based on different types of things and we'll get into it. I'll differentiate between uh, different type of REITs, but you'll still be able to earn money uh, passively just from investing in my company that invests in real estate. The other piece to that, the benefit to me is that I'm able to buy properties probably sooner or even pay off properties sooner because I have so many people investing in me because I have a public company that is open to investors. It's a really good system. I know a lot of my mentors that do it as well. Uh, some of them do it 
more ethically than others so uh, you really got to be careful who you're trusting two different types of REITs they don't really matter but I just want to throw them out here because I actually just learned about them I didn't know that they were too different so the first one basically is mortgage so you will be investing in more of the loan part of things so people who take out loans for their homes to pay that 30-year loan back or whatever okay so you will be investing in that and you will be getting paid primarily based on the interest the other side of it the equity part is when people are paying into a property people are renting a property out you will be getting essentially the rent payments on the house from the actual investing company so number three probably is the most confusing to me I did get a request on this channel to talk about ETFs but I haven't really dived into it uh, quite yet just because I have so much other stuff that I want to get started basically ETFs are like an index fund so if you guys know what an index fund is like the s p 500 basically it is a index around the top performing companies so you don't have to worry about okay i want to invest in something like amazon i don't know if it's still going to be around in 10 20 years i don't know if it's going to go bankrupt like you know things like that so it will always have the top performing companies in that index another thing that i would recommend you guys to do is read the intelligent investor i know that it's a long book it was seriously so long for me and it was quite boring it was hard to get through and that probably won't make you guys want to read it more but um, it will be worth it in the long term if you do want passive income if you do want to invest uh, for the rest of your life you know you will need to know some principles in there i mean at least listen to an audiobook or something maybe like a summary i don't know uh, but it does talk about in there being an investor versus being a speculator because those are two different things a lot of people who have invested in dogecoin without really even knowing what it is or you know anything about the company at all uh, that's more of a speculator just because somebody else said it was good uh, that is a speculation that is not really investing okay i had a couple of my friends who uh jumped into it because elon musk said so and you know i i i don't believe in that um you know hopefully they'll end up profiting but personally uh i would have to look uh, at individual companies and do the hard research behind uh, you know the data and the revenue and you know just about like the finances and you know what the company is actually doing the, the you know the board of directors you know all of that type of stuff you know you'd have to know before really jumping into uh, you know investing in a single company all right and then lastly number four real estate investing guys so in this video jaspreet talked about real estate and how difficult it could be and just in my opinion and from what i've seen my own personal experiences a lot of the things that he was saying seemed a bit overwhelming when it came to investing in real estate and i'm sure that it's not a cakewalk like a walk in the park like i'm definitely sure of that but having two parents that have both invested in multiple properties um you know it, it just doesn't have to be that complicated and granted he might be working with you know more high-end properties maybe more expensive properties maybe in a certain area where there are more technicalities around real estate investing but personally I mean where I'm from uh, in New York uh, mostly that's where the real estate that you know my parents have bought was in it didn't seem that complicated like as a third party and as an outsider and watching both of them and you know uh, one parent not really having any type of organizational skills uh, it doesn't seem to be that bad I'm saying that right now to let you guys know not to uh, make it seem like a cakewalk but also to let you know that um, you know you should really jump in like don't be intimidated by the facts and that you need this and this and this these are the same principles for pretty much everything maybe for starting a online business you know I've heard a lot of people saying to get an LLC right out the gate but if you're not making money why would you even try to do anything tax wise it's just gonna waste your time maybe you don't even end up finishing through and following through with the actual business plan you know that was a waste of time you didn't even need to get the LLC I'm not suggesting cut corners but also 
you got to be aware of what you need and what you don't because some things are just not a necessity uh, especially when it comes to real estate investing this is definitely a popular passive income source because it is tangible uh, it is in high demand, you know, as population increases. Also, just with the long term growth and like how equity in homes rises like every year, this can depend on the location, you know, the population size, of course. Land has always been increasing. I mean, definitely due to other economic factors like inflation there's many ways to start and there's many ways to grow um, jasper actually gave us a tip and said that he only buys homes or properties that have a seven percent about uh, income increase every year some of the complex things that i was saying that he said that kind of makes real estate investing seem a little intimidating is employees maybe having some different type of fees. Certain things, like I said, are a necessity. You may not need employees, okay? So um, for example, one of my parents uh, had multiple houses and didn't have any employees. Like it wasn't a business, it was pretty much just house flipping, okay? And, and uh, renting out certain properties. So you don't necessarily need employees. It depends on to what extent and what kind of properties are you buying? Are you buying properties with you know the foundation is all messed up so it really just depends like what kind of real estate investing are you actually doing i would say the one thing though that you can't cut corners on would probably be learning because you do need to take the time and know what you're talking about so you can get a good deal if you're going into uh, purchasing property and you have no idea about anything okay the salesman or whoever is selling you the property is going to instantly pick up on that and they're going to be able to sell you something maybe for not a so fair price because you don't even know what you're talking about that was the four ways to make passive income in my opinion i think the the stock ways i would say uh, not so much the etfs maybe the etfs it depends on uh, how much you guys know about it but I would say, you know, just investing and putting that money back in, that would be the best way to have passive income over the long term. You won't be getting $100 right out the gate. It probably will take you uh, to make even $100 a month. It probably will take you a few years of investing, depending how much you are investing. I do know that for certain types of accounts, like uh, certain IRAs, I believe the Roth IRA has a five thousand six thousand dollar limit also depending on what age you are guys so um, there's so much stuff to know and i encourage you guys to start as soon as possible especially if you're in my age range i check my analytics often and i see that most of my viewers are in my certain demographics so around ages 18 to 24 and also males so uh guys <laughs> the majority of you that i'm speaking to uh start as soon as possible stop wasting your money on food stop wasting your money on clothes you know uh, stop wasting your money on games like things that are not going to improve your life obviously if you are here you're looking to you know make some more money and that will ultimately lead to you improving your life you won't be able to make any extra income that doesn't require your time passively if you don't become a better person okay guys this all starts with you so i recommend to check out this playlist as well my mindset playlist i know i don't advertise it nearly as much but you definitely will need it trying to make money online guys it's not easy at all anybody that i've ever talked to about making money online tells me that it's all about mindset anybody even successful also it's all about mindset guys so um i just also want to shout out this is my 100th if this is not it then it will be the next video but uh one of these videos is going to be my 100th videos on my make money online playlist guys so i really appreciate you i would not be here 100 videos if it wasn't for you guys if you guys weren't watching so i do appreciate you don't forget to subscribe below for more let's do 100 more let's do 100 000 more videos guys i love you i'll see you in the next stay up peace